Hello friends, I'm back. I want to reach out to all of America and to every nation. America is not in a good position and we all know that. We all remember the eclipse of August the 21st, 2017. I've made many videos and I've poured my heart and soul into them. I've learned to reach out to you, to encourage you as brothers and sisters in Christ, to reach those of you that are lost, that are without Christ, and to warn many of you to make changes, whether you're a Christian or not a Christian. This video is to warn everyone in America and in all nations. You need to go to my video and look for the map of America in black. That's what America looked like on a dream that God gave me. That is the map that was branded into the face of the comet. God means business and between now and August of 2018, I believe with all my heart and soul that judgment will come to America and across the world as God sweeps across the world. I also believe that God will bring this comet back. I don't know if it will be in 150 days, if it will sweep back and come across the other side of the world and judge it. I don't know. I don't know if it will only be back in seven years. Only God knows what he will do. But I believe that if he's bringing judgment to the world, his judgment will sweep across the whole world and not just part of it. Um, I'm urging you on the West Coast to please listen to my videos. Um, listen, all people, all nations, please listen to the story that God is having me share with you. Many pastors, many Christians, even many brothers and sisters and family members will say, God doesn't send any messengers anymore. Really? He doesn't send any messengers? What is the Holy Spirit for? Does he send you a message when you sin? Does he send you a message to warn you? I want to tell you that many of you, the way that you think is wrong. You're wrong. I refuse to turn from the path that God has led me on. I don't call myself a prophet. I'm not an angel. I'm a human being. I'm a lady that has received Christ, but I once was a big time sinner. Now that I have Christ, my thoughts have changed. My patterns, but the way that I think has changed who I'm friends with, who I love, what I do, what I don't do. Everything's changed. Even what I eat, what I pray, what I read. I don't watch TV anymore. I haven't watched it in years. If I do turn a TV or a computer on, it's to listen to a preacher help me to understand more about God. That's all I'm concerned about because I'm concerned about helping others and I want to go to heaven and I want to pour out the best for the last days of my life. I want to help brothers and sisters wake up and I want to help the lost to find Christ. If you look at these beans closely, they're black beans. Many will fall into hell, more so than the beans I just poured out. But many will come to Christ. 
But there'll be more that will go to hell than there will be that will come to Christ. I want to help you. Will you please listen to all my videos? Go to the first video and just listen to them a little bit at a time, not all at once. Listen to one at a time and think. If you're a Christian, pray. If you're not a Christian, I want to encourage you to come to one or two videos every one to two hours, at least one an hour, and just listen to my story. It is real and it is the truth. Now then, whether you're a Christian or a non-Christian, you have sins. You have hundreds of sins, thousands of sins, if you're not a Christian, in your past. I want to help you today. Will you pray? and receive Christ and will you pray if you're a Christian and just repent and ask Christ to help you clean up your life and he will purge you and forgive you of all your sins he wants to purge you before the day of judgment and he wants to save you before the day of judgment that you might be able to stand the things that are coming we need to minister to others we need to tell family, friends, neighbors, co-workers. We need to tell as many as we can before it's too late. Will you bow with me? And you can listen to the prayer now and then after the video. Pray on your own. But please listen and pray. Pray like this when you get off the video. Dear Heavenly Father, I'm a lost person but I do believe with all my heart and soul that this lady really wants me to know the truth. She really wants me to know that I can ask you into my life and that you'll come. Many of you have heard the story of the Lord Jesus Christ died on the cross. I'm here to tell you it's a true story. I've believed it and God's changed my life. So say like this, Dear Lord Jesus, I believe that you died on the cross for me. I believe that you didn't die for nothing. That when you received the nails into your hands and feet, at that very moment, you died for me. You bled for me. My victory in having a life with the Father is through your blood. And Lord Jesus, I want to ask you to forgive me of the mountains and mountains of sins. And I want to ask you to forgive me of those sins. Cleanse me of all unrighteousness and cover me with your blood. I want to open the door to my heart right now. And I want you to come in and radically save me, change the way I think, change the way I act. Help me to act like you, Lord Jesus, and help me to live the new life that you've planned for me to live. Will you come save me now, and will you help me to help others come to Christ? Help me to minister to everyone around me. Help me to show them these videos, and help me to do what I can do by making a YouTube channel passing out sticky notes to come to this channel or to go to other channels. Lord Jesus, cast my sins as far to the east as to the west and forgive me and cover me in the blood of Jesus and save me now. And Lord Jesus, I pray that you'd work in my heart, soul, and mind. Sprinkle clean my heart. Sprinkle clean my mind. And I ask your blessings upon me, your help upon me, Lord. I'm sorry for the things I've done. Renew my thinking now. And I want the Holy Spirit to help me. I want him to come and live in my heart and soul and in my body and help me and transform me. And I know that he 
is a representation of you, that I can have Christ live in me, and that I can live like Christ through the Holy Spirit. I need you now. Please come. In Jesus' name, save me. Amen. Now then, those of you that are Christians, and you've not cleaned up your life with God, you know how to pray. And I'm encouraging you to go lay down on your bed after you pray on your knees and ask God to help you to remember anyone and everyone. And even if you are a newborn Christian, you have a lot of junk in your past. Maybe someone has sexually molested you if you're a young girl or a boy. Maybe your parents beat you. I don't know what all your troubles are. But you need to go forgive all those people. Go lay down and ask the Lord to bring about all remembrance of anyone and everyone. And as you begin to re just forgive them and say, Father, forgive me for holding on to this. The Lord will give you almighty peace and joy that I cannot even express. I've been molested. I've been beaten. I've been spit upon. I've been rejected by family, friends, and even my church members because they didn't believe in the work in me that God has me sharing with everyone. And they believed I was pushing it. Well, what else can I say? It's judgment coming. You should have wanted to listen. You should have wanted to not reject the message that the Holy Spirit's giving me to share with you. Anyway, go lay down on your bed and just start to repent. And if you're my family, my friends, my church, my co-workers, I have forgiven you already, and I still love you. Will you return to me, and I will return to you? And you will see that I have forgiven you, and that I still love you very, very much. And dear brother and sister in Christ, you're my friends. Leave a comment. Let me know what city and state you're in. Let me know where you heard this message on YouTube. And let us begin to pray and move. And get upon your bed as many times as you need to and on your knees. For every knee shall bow unto the Lord. And confess our sins and our needs. And he will be faithful to help you and he will return to you. But lay down on your bed and ask the Father to forgive you and help you to remember all those that you need to just let go of. And let bitterness be put far from you, far away from you. And I want to encourage you, watch every video from the very beginning on Nuts of Hope and encourage others to come. Will you encourage seven now and seven more before you go to bed? Will you leave comments on YouTube on hundreds of channels, ever how many you can do. Your work is unending at how many we need to reach. Help me to fill up these 11 ship channels and make some ship channels of your own. I love you guys, and I wish you well. And clean your hearts now, and go lay up on your bed, and repent, and get out all the bitterness, all the anger, all the unforgiveness, all the unrighteousness, and God will flood your soul with peace and joy. And he'll help you to start a YouTube channel and to share your testimony. I love you, and I just praise God that you have listened to this video and all my other videos until the end. May the Lord be with you and help you, and peace be unto you, brother and sisters. Thank you, and I praise God if you got saved today. Thank you. And may the Lord be with you to help you with every need. In Jesus' name, take care.